been selling long lived assets and uh, what we've done so far is we gave it to the garbage man we gave it to charity or we broke even on its sale. In other words, we sold it for its book value. Now we're going to take a look at how do we sell that $15,000 asset that has accumulated depreciation of $5,000 uh, and we're going to sell it at a gain and at a loss. So here it goes. When we sell for $20,000 cash, what do I get? Well, fortunately, I get cash of 20,000. So I debit cash $20,000. Well, what did I give up? Well, I gave up accumulated depreciation because I have to get that off the books of 5,000. I'm going to skip a line and I'm going to credit machine for its cost of 15,000. So notice I got cash I gave up the machine and its accumulated depreciation, so that's off of our books. And now I look at this thing and go, do debits equal credits? And notice that I've got debits of $25,000. I've got credits of $15,000, so I need another credit of ten. dollars Well, what this is called is a gain on disposal or a gain on sale. So either way, you can call it gain on disposal, gain on sale, um, and that makes it balanced, doesn't it? Okay, worst case scenario. I sell this machine, but I can only sell it for $5,000. So what do we do then? Well, the good news is I get to debit cash for $5,000. I also get to debit accumulated depreciation for five thousand dollars because I have to get the old machine and its associated accounts off my accounting records. I skip a line and I credit what machine for its cost which is fifteen thousand dollars. So have I done my exchange? I got cash, I gave up the machine and its associated accounts. But do debits equal credits? No. I need another debit, don't I, to make this thing balance. Now, if I need a debit, it's called not a gain on disposal, but what? A loss on disposal. So we've got a loss on the sale or loss on disposal for whatever we needed to make this thing balance, which is $5,000. So sometimes you gain and sometimes you lose, and sometimes you break even and sell it for its book value. The other way that you can dispose of an asset is to trade it in on another asset. So the other way to think about um, disposing of an asset is to trade it in, exchanging one asset for another plus probably a little bit of cash or some financing. So trade-ins, you can have gains, you can have losses, and they're also governed by whether you're trading in on a, the same kind of asset or a dissimilar asset. Also know that trade-ins are handled a different way whether I'm doing it for income tax purposes or whether I'm doing it for financial statement purposes. So be wary when you have a trade-in, whether it's for tax, whether it's for financial purposes, and also be wary of whether it's the same or a dissimilar asset exchange.